Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door, and we'll tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Hello, children. I'm Pastor Ted. Get ready. I'm going to read the Bible. You're going to hear a story. Today we're not going to tell a story. Instead, we're going to talk about symbols of God, the Trinity. See this triquetra? It's just a drawing with Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the word God. We have no photographs of God. We just draw symbols. Remember last week, we looked at the three-leaf clover. The Irish call it the shamrock. We have God the Father with the heart, God the Son with the cross, God the Holy Spirit with the dove, the bird. This symbolizes God, the Trinity. Let's study this painting. God the Father is bald. This is a painting by Luca Rossetti da Orta in 1739. He is welcoming the Son, Jesus Christ, into heaven. And you can see the Holy Spirit as the dove, the bird, descending to bless the Father and the Son. Now, when we turn to this artist's depiction, it's very different. Not only does God have all of his hair, but he is very unhappy. The artist is Giuseppe Ribera, and the painting is called Gottes Note. God here is extremely sad. Why? Because Jesus has just died on the cross, and God the Father is welcoming the dead Jesus into the Holy Trinity. And you can see the Holy Spirit there, symbolized by the dove flying between the beard of God the Father and the Son. Let's take a look at this painting. Here, God is happy. Henrik von Balen is the artist. Jesus is risen from the dead, <clears throat> exalted in heaven to the right hand of the Father. And there you can see the dove blessing the relationship of the Father and the Son. Most of the time, we do not draw pictures of the Trinity. We draw symbols. The triangle is a simple symbol and here's the triquetra again and if you want to get out your crayons you can color it father son holy spirit and god is a different color in this one now let's get complicated you see the triangle you see the circles god the father is not the son and the son is not the father but the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. God is not a fourth person. There's only Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There is no God without Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And they all relate to each other and invite us through Jesus Christ into God's Trinitarian life. Now look at this fresco by Andrei Rublev in Moscow. We don't know which of the three figures is the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. We can just guess. These are three angels visiting Abraham at Mamre. They symbolize God. They do not picture God. Now here's my last picture to look at. It's at a monastery on Mount Athos near the country of Greece in the sea. And it is Christ the King at the right hand of the Father ruling over all of the worlds. And the Holy Spirit looks more like a goose <laughs> than a dove, but it's the Holy Spirit, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Young folks, old folks, everybody come, come to Kids Club and have a lot of fun. Please check your chewing gum and raisins at the door and we'll 
tell you Bible stories that you never heard before. Goodbye, kids.